Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're actually doing something that I've been so hyped about, which is to check out my M3. It's finally been finished. The paint shop said they finally put it into air scoops. They aligned my door. They fixed my quarter panel. They fixed my hood gap. They uh, they fixed a lot of things, and I, they fixed a lot of imperfections. Like um, there was like some chips on the front bumper. There's a crack on the front bumper because you know I crashed that uh, for a video. That was very stupid. Um, anyways. Um, there was like a giant gou gouge into my side skirt. That's just the way it came when I got the car from the accident. Never really fixed it, just wrapped over it. Um, yeah, so there was a lot of imperfections that I knew that some of you guys did not know about. And it just really hurt me to see that. It's just like all this work I put into the car, but there's a lot of imperfections. I mean, hey, it's come such a long way. But now today, guys, it should look almost perfect. So yeah, I'm super stoked. I got to So he said we're meeting up at once. So I got a couple things to do right now. I got to head down to the bank, pick up the cash. Actually... We might as well show you guys um, the supporters. So this little plaque I made for everybody who actually supported the paint job on the M3. Everyone who's like contributed to the M3. Yes, and say 2008 BMW M3. So shout out to everyone's names here that actually donated to help fund this paint job. You guys matched it pretty much halfway for the paint job, which is insane. Shout out to Jeremy Hall as well. I think him alone was like almost three to 400 bucks. So like, bro, you're insane, dude. Shout out to you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, head out. Um, I do want to show you guys something though. So I don't know if you guys have seen a 360 of this car. I think I just basically just posted a video, but I didn't actually show you guys a 360, unfortunately. So I'm going to show you guys all the perfections with this car. And the reason I'm actually probably going to trade this for my M3. So basically I'm going to take this, drop it off and take my M3 home so they can work on this. First, First thing, this hood is terrible. That's something we're gonna fix. We're gonna go ahead and sand it all. And uh, when we actually wrap the car, we're just gonna wrap over it. That's no big deal. The side skirt itself is like bulging out. All the clips broke. He put one screw there, one screw on the other side. So that's kind of janky. I don't know if you guys could tell by these two doors and this. This has all been repainted and the texture is terrible. And uh, you guys can probably see it more here. Just the reflection is just so bad. And there's a huge crack on the Bondo right here. Some Bondo chipping out here, there. The gap is horrific. And you can even see like just overspray right there and just the texture is just, oh man, this is just disgusting. You can even see when they sprayed it on, the seals, they had it on the doorknob, like what? This whole quarter panel is the reason I'm dropping it off at the shop today. Basically, I want them to basically take off all the bondo and redo this quarter panel and line it up with the door and then just fix up the door just a little bit. And then I'll do the rest of the car, which is pretty much sanding the whole car and then wrapping it hopefully. The rear bumper has been repainted, has a lot of ugly stuff on it as well. This quarter panel looks like it's been hit, but repaired. Um, honestly, the repair was done really well. It's just the, the paint. The paint is terrible, so I'm gonna have to sand that. Um, the gaps are really good, so I'm happy about that on this side. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why we got it so cheap. The cosmetic condition of this car, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, is really, really bad. Like, I'm gonna go ahead, fix that dent up as well, um, sand it down, put some Bondo, fix that up. But yeah, end of the day, that we might be, we might just make this our daily. Anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead, head out to the bank. We gotta swipe that, uh, those thousands of dollars. You know I do it for the family. Yeah, give a f about a Grammy. Yeah, cause they will never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we never had a plan B. No, but I always been a message. Yeah, but they will never understand me. No, cause they ain't been through what I've been through. Pull up in the truck, got a stack tuck. I remember I was fucking all right, guys, we just got the money, so let's go ahead and uh, head out. Just remember, guys, before we actually head out, I got to load up all the tail lights and the side mirrors into the car. I'm actually going to put it on on the spot. So I'm basically going to take all the stuff over there, put it on the car, and drive it home because I don't want to tow it home. It's unnecessary at this point. So, yeah, I'm going to put it all on the car and then drive it home. A lot of cool things to come, guys, a lot of cool things. Let me just go ahead and load up everything to the car. Guys, just got done with prayers, got everything loaded up into the car, so we're heading down and we're gonna finally see the paint job on the M3. I'm not gonna lie, he sent me a photo and uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like I wasn't like a hundred percent like oh my lord because I think he just took a bad photo. 
this is kind of rough. Yeah, it's, 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 it's as rough as it sounds. I don't, you know, I, I'm spending a lot of money and uh, a lot of time without the car. You know, I'm hoping for the best here. But he did a great job with the gaps and everything. I just, I don't think his camera is good. Maybe because it was indoors. Maybe because it was in the paint booth. Maybe it was misty. Um, I'm setting lower expectations. So if it comes out amazing, that would just blow my mind. And if it's, you know, great, I'll be really stoked. So, I mean, let's just, let's just get there and uh, see what's up. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just want to get there, dude. Guys, we are here. <laughs> what, the, what the? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Guys, this paint in the sun looks insane. They fixed my hood gap here. Oh my god, it's so buttery smooth. You guys can see it's still really dirty too. It's not even clean. Oh my god, he fixed the bumper. We have the filing of the scoops in there. Oh my god. I have to still get rid of those, don't worry. He painted these to match in black. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? There's no way, dude. This looks too good. And they also fixed the door gap here, guys. So finally, I don't have a door gap. So there's no more, it was honestly rain would be able to get in the car, not anymore. Oh my God. Wow, this interior is just destroyed. There's so much dirt in here though. Oh my God. Oh, there's my mirrors. Damn. Oh my God, I haven't seen her in a little bit now. All right, I guess I have to go inside now and talk to him. This is just crazy. So you guys, here's how it looks when you open the door. Uh, not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be a little bit better, but uh, that's fine. I'm probably just gonna end up getting this all painted down the road. Just gotta save up a little bit more money and just get this all painted. Not a big deal. They can still fix that. But oh my god, guys, this color in person is just pearly. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just pearls. Guys, he did an insane job, honestly. Um, uh, now I want to do the door seals. We'll talk to him when he gets here. You guys saw it, oh my lord. I'm gonna go ahead and throw, like at first when I pulled up, I didn't know how I felt about it, but then it just grew on me real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on everything. This little imperfection right here, he's saying the bumper cracked somehow when they were putting it together. So this just came out pretty bad. He says he'll fix this. Meantime, oh my God, I can't wait to get it home. All right guys, so this is how she sits right now with the mirror and everything. I cannot wait to actually show you guys when I get home. But yes, and see, oh my God. I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and drive this thing home. Haven't driven in a very long time, so I'm super stoked. Guys, <laughs> Devon just decided to show <laughs> Bro, check it out, dude. Man, this is a hell of a job. Right? Oh my God. I honestly, I was astonished when they saw this thing. What's up, dude? What's up? Yeah, What's up, bro? How's it going, bro? I'm chilling. Congrats. Appreciate it. <laughs> I was stupid. Like, as I was pulling up, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. But then when I got up close and saw the pearls, I was like, I messed with it. <laughs> I want to go home and start putting this thing together. The trim, all the black accents, the carbon. <laughs> Guys, Devon just showed up with his new 335. <laughs> I wouldn't say new exactly, it's kind of ugly, but um, yeah, it's getting dropped off at the shop to get fixed. Same with this guy right here. So both of these guys are getting fixed as I'm picking up my, oh my gosh, she looks so good, dude. Can't wait to drive her, oh my lord. But yeah, basically two quarter panel fixes, dropping them both off. And we'll show you guys the builds on these soon, hopefully. We just gotta wait for them to get out. But uh, yeah, it's time to, time to take the M3 bag. So we're officially back home. I really want to start working on this thing. So I got to put a lot of things back on this car, you know, like side markers, trim, 
whole bunch of stuff, front stuff, carbon fiber stuff. So we're gonna throw out all in this video. I'm super stoked on it. Probably the next video is gonna be like a full cinematic. I'm gonna try to go like downtown SAC and just film something for you guys. Hopefully I'll have the time to do that. It is the weekend, so God bless. Hopefully I get the time. But anyway, let me go ahead and change into my uh, working clothes because they ain't working clothes. And I'm back guys. So yeah, without further ado, um, let's start putting on uh, some of the black pieces and carbon fiber pieces. I'm pretty stoked for it. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break you easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Oh, oh, oh. so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me Just watch me As much as I love the shop that, uh, what's it called? That hooked it up on these tires The only thing they need, I need to tell them about torquing this thing Because they over torqued the hell out of it uh, but other than that, again, shout out to them for the tires. But next time I go back to them, I'm going to tell them to make sure they took it this back. Alright guys, so BAM! Just like, oh my god, dude. it literally looks exactly like the M4 Blue, guys. Are you guys can even see it on the camera, it gets lighter and then it gets darker. It's pretty much how the Yaz Marina Blue works. Um, but yeah, finally got the black wheels on it, the carbon fiber wing. Everything's super dirty because it's been sitting in the backyard. So you guys can see it's super dirty. But um, other than the car, the car is absolutely mint and everything else is dirty, pretty much. Um, <laughs> anyways, we're going to go ahead and give this car a full wash. We got the trim all around the windows. Uh, we got the ones on the doors. We got the mirrors back on, the beautiful mirror caps. Oh my God. Uh, side markers, wheels, front splitters, grills. These grills have shit all over them. Where is it? Like poop stains and webs. So yeah, this has got to get cleaned up, but just look at that view. Oh my goodness. That I know. <laughs> I actually... <laughs> That's actually a funny story. So I know how much you guys really wanted to get rid of that even on the last time. Like when I had it on the Nardo Gray, you guys said, please block that out. Please wrap it the same color as the car. You know, this, this, and that. Um, funny story is I actually told him to paint those. And... Uh... <laughs> It didn't get painted. Maybe it was for a reason. Maybe, you know, somebody saw me at night and uh, because of those, so they didn't crash into me. So it could have been for a reason, but it, it's about time now. So without further ado, I will get that taken to a shop and uh, the same exact shop and get it painted the exact same color as the car. And something else we did agree on in about two weeks, three weeks, we're going to go ahead and take the car in to do the seals. You guys told me to do the seals. I honestly didn't think it would be that big of a deal. And it's really not because it's black. You guys can see like, it looks fluid. It's not like it's blue and then orange and then black interior and red interior. Um, the car interior is black with the black. You know, it looks kind of normal. It flows well. Um, my issue, and I'm still going to talk to him, I don't want these stickers covered up by paint. Um, removing these stickers is nearly impossible and putting it back on is nearly impossible. So I'm going to see how this goes. Maybe you can mask it like really good and then paint around it. Um, obviously, it won't look perfect. So I have to talk to him about that. But as of now, like right here, you guys can see... It's not absolutely perfect and uh, you know, for the most part it looks really good, but like it's a little bit wavy here and it, it's just not perfect. Um, and I, he's also gonna do the doors. So I will take it in to get that painted the same color. Oh my God, it feels so good. Uh, I'm gonna get this painted black because that's gotta go. Um, the door seals, yes, um, and the, the door itself. So that's the last finishing touches as for paint. Um, the roof, I will be wrapping it black. You guys let me know if you guys wanna see that or just leave it Yaz Marina Blue. You guys let me know. Um, I do have to make sure I wash this today. He said if I don't wash it today, all this white stuff from the, uh, from polishing is gonna stay on it. Uh, so I wanna make sure I get a good wash. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some cleaning supplies. I have to watch a few videos on how to wash paint because I've never done it before. <laughs> Literally all my cars have been wrapped. So yeah, let's head to Walmart. But goodness gracious, oh my God. Let me go ahead and get some towels um, and go figure out what kind of uh, scrubbing stuff I need. Maybe just need some good Good towels uh, to make sure I don't damage this beautiful baby feeling. This feels like a baby's butt uh, <laughs> paint job. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. All right, that was retarded.
guys, I just cannot believe how good she looks right now. Oh my God. Shout out to Devon right now. He's taking a few pictures. So good, dude. It's fresh new car wash, but now I get to gas. So this is actually a couple hours later. Um, all new clothes. I actually took a shower and I wasn't planning on working today, but turns out I'm actually going to this event. Um, so if you guys, uh, probably it's already too late for the video. I announced on my Instagram that I'm going to this car meet, cars and coffee, whatever. Um, if you guys are always wondering the car meets I go to or the events that I go to, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Basically, I announce whenever I'm doing things. I sometimes give you guys sneak peeks before the videos even drop. So if you guys are always wanting to see that stuff, make sure to check out my Instagram down below. I'm gonna set you guys down. I gotta get to work. It's like 11.30 p.m. It's almost 12. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. And I haven't even edited this video. Let's just get to cleaning. I gotta get all this stuff cleaned out so we can go ahead and edit this video, get it out for you guys um, the morning that I'm heading over to the event. So actually, by the time this video drops, I'll probably be at the event in person. So it'll be pretty sick. went ahead and finish up the in actually no I just forgot about that door panel over there but anyways I just remember that uh, the rest of the interior is all cleaned up there's no more dirt let me go ahead and turn on my flashlight on my phone one second here bam check that out all right so you guys can see carpets uh, obviously it's not like a detail detail it still needs some work but the flashlight's not making it look good at all but it, it looks pretty good so don't don't, don't worry about that um, so yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably go a full detail later because he's gonna get this whole interior dirty again when he actually does these seals. So I don't want to do like a really in-depth, you know, thing. It's in the middle of the night. It's not worth it. I just cleaned it up enough to where all the dust is gone and it just looks presentable. It looks really nice, really clean. And, uh, you know, that's just the way I like it. I like my seats being clean because I'm not trying to sit on something dirty. So that was the main things I focused on. Door panels are good. I just gotta focus on that other door panel and I will call it a night for the car. I just cannot believe the way this color came out is absolutely insane. I'll be doing more of an in-depth on the full paint during the day, during the night. Take it out on a few cru cruises because finally I have the car. I haven't had this thing for three weeks. But without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Um, if you guys are excited to see more videos, make sure to smash that like button on the M3. And uh, without further ado, I gotta get some rest. I gotta go out for a run. I gotta get some rest because I gotta wake up about 8 a.m. sharp. Um, which is not too early, but it's pretty early for me to be at that car meet. So anyways, guys, remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.